Hello world, I'm Colleen and welcome to my glamorous life. I'm that almost 50 year old mom with three teenagers here to give you helpful tips, tricks, and honest reviews. So I was excited today when my postman came and I got a uh, letter carrier, if you want to get politically correct, and my Jeffree Star order came in. For those of you who don't know, it's the anniversary of his blood sugar palette. And I do have the original blood sugar palette here, the red version. There is a white version of the same palette that is out in this new collection that is um, for the anniversary, but I didn't order it because I just got this one this year. But I did order the new mini blood sugar palette and the cavity highlighter palette. We're gonna take a look at those today and see how Jeffrey did this time. Let's get to it. So we're gonna start off swatching these two palettes. We're gonna start off with the Blood Sugar Mini palette here that I just held upside down. It's um, beautiful. I don't know if you can see it. It's glitter prints in the red here on the front, Blood Sugar. We're gonna open this up here. Now these are pressed, mostly pressed pigments, so really vibrant colors. And there's Jeffrey with his little heartbeat. We're gonna open up the inside, take out the little plastic protector there, whoops. Now, these are all shades except one that come in the original palette. So let's take a look at that real quick. I'm gonna grab my original palette and we're gonna compare the shades from the original to what showed up in the mini. Now I know the one that was the new one. Okay, here's my original palette. And then here is the mini, okay? So you can see there's some duplication of colors there, but the one in the middle here, which is called Wisdom, is brand new exclusive to this palette. Now I do like the original Blood Sugar palette, I think it's an amazing palette. I just couldn't see buying it in white just to have it in white. I love Jeffrey's cosmetics, but um, it's another $52 palette that I just couldn't see spending the money on right now. Not when I wanted to get the other palettes. All right, so let's get to swatching this. We're gonna start with the top row here, which is glucose, sugar cane, and ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I need my glasses. So we're going to get started with those three. Okay. So on the back of my hand here, here's glucose. That nice. In fact, let's give tip that down a little bit so you can see it. It's just a matte white, very simple. Sugar cane right next to it there is kind of a matte pink. And ouch is kind of a, a matte, rusty, rusty tan. So you've got your matte row there. Okay. Glucose, sugarcane, and ouch. All right. So let's go on to row two. The second row is candy floss, wisdom, and sweetener. Now these are all frost. Wisdom is the newest of the colors, so let's give those a quick swatch. So starting with Candy Floss, which is this beautiful pink frost, nice pale pink frost. Now Wisdom, this is one of the best shades I've seen in a while, I have to tell you. This is a red frost, and this is the first time I've swatched it, so that's some serious pigment right there. And then sweetener is kind of an orangey red, a uh, reddish orange. Little, it's an orange with that red, so it's it's a lot paler. But there you go. There's the three from the second row. Now let's check that third row. Now row number three is prick, cherry soda, and coma. So prick, cherry soda, and coma. So we're going to check these out. Now prick is kind of a tangerine-y, a little bit of a red undertone to it. It's also matte. Cherry soda is a nice matte red. And then coma is this 
deep purple with a little bit of a red to it. So kind of a wine, also matte. So you've got six mattes and three shimmer colors in this palette. And they all have that same consistency of the original blood sugar palette that, that uh, Jeffrey has. I've noticed all of his eyeshadows. Um, well, you do get a little bit of fallout with just about any eyeshadow, even, even pressed pigment and stuff. It's not excessive. And um, the shimmers are usually really creamy instead of dry and flaky. So I don't usually end up with a lot of stuff on my fingers. I don't usually end up with a lot of glitter all over my face from them. So let me clean this off and we'll bust into the highlighter palette and swatch it. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, one thing, I don't know if you can see the back of my hands a little bit stained and that's because this is pressed pigments that we're using and red is notorious for staining. Um, doesn't bother me on my eyes so much because I do use, always use a, um, primer underneath anytime I use a pressed pigment, which helps protect my skin a little bit more. Um, if you do have a problem with the staining, then maybe you want to steer away from reds and such, but I don't have any problem covering up the little bit of staining that I have left. And that second time through, it came off pretty good. I'm not too worried. My fingers are a little orange, but I'll live. Okay. So cavity, this is his skin frost highlighter palette. This is the first of Jeffrey's highlighter palettes that I have ever purchased. Um, not because I don't like them, because I love the colors. I just haven't, I haven't been that into highlighter until this past year. And all of a sudden I'm finding that I'm liking highlighter a lot more. Probably because I got into doing YouTube and Instagram and stuff. So we're gonna open this up and hop out cavity. Now on the front, this is from the original uh, blood sugar photo shoot. I don't remember the name of the model that he's with, but this is from that original shoot that they did. And he used that on the packaging here. I do remember that from his reveal. And when you get in here, we'll come in and we'll take the plastic out. You have four beautiful highlighter shades. We have, let's see, Icing IV, Candy Frost, Rose Gold, and Frozen Pick frozen prick. I can speak. <laughs> um, the thing I like about this particular highlighter palette, um, Jeffrey's really good at going out there in the colors. You know, he's got like blue and green highlighters and what have you. This is the closest I've seen Jeffrey come to like a blush palette, if you will. Um, in fact, I'm probably going to try and use this as that. But for now, let's give it a quick swatch. There's only four colors, so it won't take that long. All right, so here we go. We're gonna swatch this, only four colors, not too bad, except for my stained fingers. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start with Icing IV. Oh my goodness, this is like really, look at that. It's beautiful, it's kind of a golden pink. Wow, I like that, okay. Next one is Candy Frost. This is that hot Barbie pink. Ooh, look at those two next to each other. Can you see the difference? I can get it to focus on my hand and not on my face. There you go. All right, and Rose Gold. Oh, that's the one I think I'm gonna like for a blush. This is the Rose Gold right here. And then Frozen Prick, which is this beautiful, beautiful tangerine. Let's see, where did I put that? Put it right there. Ooh, look at that. That's another one that could be a, a really nice blush. There you go. There's the four shades. You got some really high frost. This rose gold is a lot subtler, I think, and would probably make just a nice subtle blush. And this, the tangerine here, Man, I see blush in my future. All right, so let me clean myself up here, get some of this stuff off of me, and we're gonna throw together a quick look with these and see how I really feel about the whole thing. So far, I'm liking it. Um, like I said, if you are not familiar with pressed pigments, they do have a tendency to stain skin a little bit, hence the reason that my fingers look kind of orange after going through the entire eyeshadow palette. Uh, like I said, use an eye primer. 
put that protection between your skin and the pigment that will help. Um, otherwise you either live with it or you don't. I don't have a problem with it. So it's just good to know that it's there. So when you're taking your makeup off and all of a sudden you have a red eyelid you, or a pink eyelid, you know why. So let me go get cleaned up. I'll be right back. So what I'm going to do before I start off um, putting anything on my eyelids is I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm using my Beauty Chop uh, Stuck On You Eye Primer because I would like to minimize the staining on my eyeballs. Okay. The Complete Blood Sugar collection for his anniversary launch, the anniversary release that he just did, included a vault of lipstick. Um, and I, I, I really, really wish he had done some of the new shades because there's a couple new shades that were thrown in there. And I wish he had done those as individual full size as well. And if he did, I didn't catch it. If somebody caught it and that he did, comment please um because i just couldn't convince myself to spend the hundred plus dollars for the vault for the lipstick as much as i wanted it and you can use his lips lipsticks the the liquid lips on your eyes and um as basically body paint type thing because it's all all safe for that but I have such a hard time with red lipstick and the shades, different shades of red lipstick. And I'm so stuck on the, the dragon's blood, the dragon's blood. Oh my God. I'm so stuck on the unicorn blood lipstick that he came out with the red that I, I really, really, really love that one. I have a really hard time buying into an entire collection of all of it. Now, if Jeffrey, you ever see this and you want to send it to me, I'd happily review it, but I don't see that happening. I'm not exactly Jeffrey's general demographic. So, okay, let's get into getting some color on these eyes, okay? Alrighty. I think I'm going to start with a wash of sugar cane. We're just gonna wash that right over my lid completely, just to kind of set down this uh, I'm having senior moments, I swear, just to kind of set down the primer and make sure that I have that extra added layer between my eyelid and the actual red color. All right, so I've just really washed that from my lash line all the way up. I don't care. Now what I'm going to do is, because I want to do a really a red, red look, I think. Um... Yeah, I've got that. I want to do a red look. I'm going to go in with cherry soda just because I'm proving to you that I'm not afraid of the red stain. Okay. We're going to go in with cherry soda and we're going to bring that into the crease line here. Just right along here. Look at how vivid that looks. I mean, it's not like red, red in your face. Now, mind you, if I had put on like a stark white primer, it probably would have looked a little redder, but I'm also tapping the brush, buffing it out really well as I put it on. Um, that's one thing that a lot of people are scared of really bright colors. They're like, oh, I could never wear Jeffree Star. He does outlandish colors and all this other. Mm -mm. What you see is how he wears it, and that's really intense and lined and graphic, and that's how a lot of people wear it. And you can wear it that way if you want, but you don't have to. There's nothing that says, there's no rules to make up that say you have to wear it exactly how the company wants you to wear it, okay? Jeffrey has given this beautiful formula that, I mean, this just blended beautifully and I didn't have to do a whole lot. So why, why ruin a good thing or ignore a good thing because you don't want to do the way he does his eyes? 
I mean, I can. I don't want to because it's not me. I'm going to take this brand new wisdom. I love this. This is this. It's it's red. It's got a little bit of a gold reflex to it. And we're going to do the outer corner right in through here. And I've always had makeup artists tell me, oh, make a V, make a V. You know what? I don't have a V there. My eyes are too rounded. So I generally do kind of a C and I kind of drag it out a little bit. For me, it works. They always, you know, I've had makeup lessons where the makeup artist is like, oh, no, 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 make a V, make a V. And I'm going, there's no V on my eye. Follow the shape of your eyes, okay? They're going to tell you, okay, you need to make a V here. You need to make a line here. You need to do... It doesn't always work for everybody. There's not one way to do makeup. And there's not one exact right way. There are theories, as uh, Robert Welsh will tell you, makeup has a theory. But there's no rules, okay? If you want to wear purple eyeshadow with green lips, go for it. I'm trying to think of something that really adds looks on. I don't know. Okay, so we've got that on. I'm going to give that a little bit of a blend. And this is this is where you see me doing things a little different from most people that wear Jeffree Star is that I like to blend a lot, okay? Because I don't like the harsh appearance per se. I like to do a lot of blending, a lot of softening, but I'm still using those intense colors. I'm just softening them by blending. All right. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a little of that wisdom on a slightly smaller brush and bring it to the inner corner here. Yep. All the way into my inner corner. I'm not putting it on the inner corner, but the in right in my lid right here. Okay. The inner corner of my lid itself and bringing it up. This is one of my favorite techniques on my shape eyes. And that is leaving the center kind of barren rather than worrying about trying to do a full cut crease, leave that center barren. And I just fill in around and always blending, always, always blending. So you can see the difference between the two eyes. Um, I'll go ahead and do the other one now. And one of the things I was telling you, there's not a lot of fallout. I have a little bit here, but it's really not fallout. It's more where I flicked the brush. I don't have a lot over here. That is definitely one of the things that I like about, uh, I like about Jeffrey's eyeshadow is that it doesn't get everywhere. I put on gorgeous, gorgeous eyeshadow the other day and I used, what was it? Physicians Formula did a 24 karat highlighter palette, highlighter and eyeshadow palette. And it, it's all gold, all different shades of gold. And I'm like, oh, cool. So I wanted to use that to highlight the center of my eye. And I did. And by lunchtime, I had gold flakes all over my face because it didn't stay put. And I'm like, I primed my eyes. Why didn't it stay put? It just didn't. And I was none too happy about that. So I'm going to go ahead and go back in that center because I really want the next step to stand out really well. So I'm going to go into the center here where I kind of left it barren and I'm just really going to kind of carve out that center a little bit more right in the center. I'm not doing a full cut crease. I just want that lid to pop. Okay. So I'm going right in the center. And just filling that in. You can go up a little higher on this side. There we go. All right, so lids are covered. We are good there. We are going to now go in with my stained little finger. Which way do I want to go? Pink or orange, pink or orange. I'm going to go in with sweetener, which was that kind of apricot y color there. And I'm going to tap that into the center. Here where I had reprimed and see how that kind of stands out there. Don't worry, we're not done. All right, here we go. A little bit more there. Now, same finger. I'm going to go into candy floss. 
and I'm going to hit the very center of my eye and just wiggle it in there just a little bit just to give it a little extra pop. There we go. Now, back to my faithful blending brush because now I want to blend in the edges of this completely so it looks like one seamless eyeball. I don't want the seams to show, if you will. Okay. Now, you know, I keep dropping brushes in this room. It's really annoying. I'm going to be re redoing my studio next month. I'm going to move things around so I'm a little further away from my backdrop and stuff, but I haven't got there yet. Okay. So clean up the finger. I'm going to clean up the little bit that I have underneath here with my Makeup Forever Scentsy Eyes, just to kind of sharpen up the edge here, clean that up there. And like this hasn't been on that long and it's still not staining. It's just, it depends on how much you get on you and how long it stays and where in your skin it lands. Not a big deal. All right, since I'm using Jeffrey, I'm gonna go ahead in with my Con Jeffree Star Concealer in C6. This is one of my favorite concealers. The thing I really like about this particular concealer is that it doesn't really oh. need to be set. Um, it does dry down nicely without drying out. I mean, I've got, I started using this when he first came out with it. So several years now I've been using it and I have very dry skin, very, very dry skin. So when I put concealer on, the first thing it likes to do, number one, is creep into every fine line. Not this stuff. Uh, the second thing it likes to do is I look like Crepe Central under my eyes. This is not bad. This does not do that. It does um, leave a nice finish. I don't have to do a whole lot. I think I'm going to powder just a little bit today just because I did kind of do a little bit of contour and foundation earlier. Get in here with my June & Co. microfiber sponge and just tap this out, make sure my contour isn't too horrible. Okay, so now we're gonna finish up our eyes and then we're gonna highlight. So I'm going to pop off camera. I'm gonna put on my eyeliner and my lashes and I'll be right back. All right, lashes on. Let's pop a little bit of color underneath my eye. I'm gonna go in with that wisdom again and just right underneath my lash line here. Just to bring those little lashes on the bottom out just a little bit more. There we go. Eyes are almost done, almost. And I say almost because I've got a highlighter palette to play with people. All right, so. Let's see, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna go in with the Icing IV as my highlighter. You ready for this? We're gonna go right up under that brow there. Just really make it pop on both sides. And then we're gonna hit that inner corner. Oh my goodness. I wish the camera would do this justice. This is absolutely gorgeous. Loving this already. Okay, now, <clears throat> I said I was gonna use one of these as a blush and I'm going to. So I am going to take that rose gold. I think that was perfect because it wasn't too intense color wise and it had just enough shine to it. I'm just gonna run my brush through it right here, okay? Oh, it's so creamy, I love it. Okay. And we're gonna make it pop. 
You see that? It's subtle. I think I'm gonna do the, okay. I'm gonna go in with this on both sides and we're gonna zhuzh it up a little. I have decided that this is not deep enough. That is really, really subtle. We're gonna go in with the Frozen Crook, <clears throat> which is the tangerine one. And just, ah, there we go. Now we're talking. My face swallows blush. I know this isn't blush, but ooh, that's fun. Okay, let's see, how am I gonna, Hmm. I'm going to do my usual. I'm going to use everything in the palette. I'm going to use this candy floss as my actual highlight. Ready? Here she blows. We got some highlight going on. Look at that. Oh. I like this highlighter. I really do. Um, I'm kind of always a little hesitant about green and, and all that, but mm, this works. Now, to keep in the red theme, I have the Jeffree Star Unicorn Blood Lip Liner. Now, I'm not using Unicorn Blood Lipstick, though. You all had a great reaction to my Supreme Gloss video. And I absolutely love it. And I was trying to think, how could I tie all as much of my Jeffree Star stuff in as I possibly can? Well, we are going in with Weirdo for our lips. That subtle bit of red underneath Weirdo just does it for me. What do you think? Hmm? Little vampy. I'm going to say, Mr. Jeffree Star, no matter what anybody says about you personally, your makeup has yet to let me down. But I've got to say, as long as you don't mind a red pigment, which may or may not slightly discolor your skin when you go to take it off. Um, this is awesome. I mean, it is so hard to find good red uh, blendable colors. Uh, most of the time when I get a red eyeshadow in a palette, it is automatically a pink. This has gone and stayed that red, even though I blended it out to the hills, it stayed red. And then, you know, pairing it with the, the unicorn blood and the weirdo combination, I think is just perfect. It's this really vampy little look, which awesome. So this is it. I'm going to wear it. I like it. And um, what are we going to talk about next week? Hmm. As always, I have some ideas, but if there's anything that you want to see or a topic you'd like me to research for weird history, and makeup, do me a favor, put it in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, click that button now. I'll talk to you later. Ta-ta.